Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's use an example that's a little bit closer to how we would prove things in geometry. I would say this is probably just a really good example. And we're still going to use algebraic properties, but notice now we're going to be dealing with angles. We have three angles. We have the angle made up from the rays from E to A, from B e to B, from E to C, and from E to D. We have angle 1, 2, and 3. And here we have indicated that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3, and that the measure of angle 2 is different from the other two. We're now to, uh, required to show that the measure of AEC is equal to the measure of BED. Well, is it obvious? I don't know. But let's try to find a way to prove that. And we're going to start out with the initial thing where we are shown here on the graph that measure AEB is equal to measure CED. And so that's our initial statement. We can obtain that directly from the graph and we can consider that a given quantity. They told us that that was indeed the case by indicating it that way on the graph. So the next statement, we need to kind of strategize on that. But what I could say here is that the angle made from A to E to C is simply the sum of angle 1 plus angle 2. So let's go ahead and write that. So I can say that the measure of angle AEC is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding angle 1 and plus angle 2. I'm adding those two angles together. So here I can graphically see that if I add angle 1 to angle 2, I get the entire angle 1 plus 2, which is defined by angle ABC. So the question is, why can I do that? What gives me the right to do that? So here I can see that I have an equation where the left side equals the right side because when I add these two together, I, they equate to this right here. So I'm using what we would call the addition property of equality. I can see that if I add angle 1 to angle 2, I end up with the sum of those two, which is defined by A, the angle AEC. So therefore, the measure of angle AEC must equal the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. I can do the same thing for the other side right here. I can say that the measure of angle BED must equal the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And again, in this case, I'm adding the two angles, 2 and 3, which means I'm using the addition property of equality, which tells me that the sum of angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to the sum of angle 2 plus angle 3. Now, I realize that I have AEC here, the measure of AEC, which is the left side of what I'm trying to show, and I have the measure of BED, which is the right side I'm trying to show. So now I have to find some way to equate those two to one another. I do know that measure of angle AEC is equal to the sum of these two angles, and the measure of angle BED is equal to the sum of those two angles. And then I realized that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3, which, of course, we know that by looking at the statements right here. So the measure of angle AEB equals the measure of angle CED. So I can take the statement and rewrite it saying that the measure of angle AEB, which is angle 1, is equal to the measure of angle CED, which is the measure of angle 3. So I know that these are two are equal to each other. Again, this is obtained from the graph. And I can do that because it's a given quantity. Now, since the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 3, I can then use the rule of substitution, the algebraic rule of substitution, meaning if one is equal to the other, I can make a substitution. In other words, I can substitute measure of angle 1 with measure of angle 3 because they're equal to each other. 
So then I can say that the measure of angle AEC is equal to the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 2. So all I've done was I've taken the measure of angle 1 and substituted it for the measure of angle 3 because I know they're equal to each other. So I made a substitution and I can do so because I've used the substitution rule of algebra. Substitution property of equality. They're equal to each other. That means I can replace one by the other. So now I look at the measure of angle AEC is equal to the sum of the measure of angle 3 plus the sum of plus the measure of angle 2. I would like to re reverse the order of those so I can say that the measure of angle AEC is equal to the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. So that is known as the commutative property in algebra. When you add two things together, we can actually reverse the order and still get the exact same thing. So I want to rearrange the two terms, and I'm allowed to do so because I use the commutative property. And we can call it the commutative property of equality because that means I haven't changed anything, it's still exactly the same. The algebraic rule allows me to do that. And then finally, I take a look at that, and I see that the measure of angle AEC is equal to the sum of the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And then I see here that the measure of angle BED is equal to the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. That means that this is exactly equal to, to that. And then I can make the substitution again. Instead of writing the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, I can replace it by this right here, which means that the measure of angle AEC is equal to, instead of adding this, having the sum here, I'm going to replace it by the measure of angle BED. And again, I can make a substitution. And I'm allowed to do so because I'm using the substitution property of equality. And now I've done exactly what I started to do is to prove or to show that the measure of angle AEC is equal to the measure of the angle BED. And that's how it's done.